Now, while we are anticipating, and we, we do have Paul Meacham on the phone, I, I've got to intro with this one. Are you ready for this? Go. Here we go. This, this, this was live yesterday in a Bravanel Hall. Now, I was sitting up in the balcony recording this. With On just, your phone? With, just, no, this is just a little handheld uh, oh, yeah, okay. recorder that we use for news. It was so cool to sit there and look down at the stage and to see Justin Freer conducting. and to So see he's looking up at the screen. And, 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 and the score and, the, and oh. everything else, trying to keep everything balanced. And these incredible musicians. And honestly, if I shut my eyes... It was just amazing. That is cool. Our Utah Symphony is truly am- amazing. Dang it, now I wish I had gotten tickets for this. Oh, so cool. Rub it in my face. Yeah, just rubbing it in your it face. It is sold out, right? Uh, well, let's check. Paul Meacham, welcome to the program. Great to have you here. Thank you, Doug. Oh, the invitation. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that invitation to come over and enjoy that rehearsal. We were, you know, back in the, in what do you call it? Is it, You know, here in broadcasting, we always call it a green room where people are waiting to go on stage. What, what is that area called where all the musicians and the artists hang out in the back? It, it's the same, the green room. All right. I, I went into the green room and kind of hung out, and all the musicians were called out onto the, to the stage. And then uh, Renee took us up into the balcony. And we were just waiting, and all of a sudden, man, you know, the, Boom. The, the conductor, Justin Freer, you know, brought those musicians to life. The images of the Harry Potter movie, just select scenes that they wanted to work on were up there. And, Paul, it, it was absolutely magic. I'm so looking forward to January 3rd. Steve asked the magic question, is everything flat out sold out? Pretty much, I'm afraid. I mean, you know, maybe there'll be some returns, but... Uh, yeah, no, it's it's been amazing. The uh, the the demand for this is that we just couldn't do enough performances. If we'd had time in our schedule to add another one, we would have done. Oh, and I'm so glad you did add that third one because uh, I, you know, I called my wife and I said, "Hey, you know, call. Let's let's make sure we get tickets either for the 23rd or 24th." And bam, it was sold out. So when well, you, you know why, Chuck. You know why it was so that because you promoted it so well. You were, we're very grateful to you. you. You've been on this from day one. You've been our best, uh, our best asset here. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you, based on what I saw yesterday during the rehearsal, this I I knew it was going to be cool. But honestly, I didn't know it was going to be this cool. I am so yeah. excited about this. And let's talk a little bit. You know, Justin Freer. He was such a nice guy. And honestly, I I, I looked a little bit up on him because I I wanted to find out from the Huntington, California area. I look at his resume. This guy's amazing. Yeah, and you know, he's made a specialty of this now, so he's developed a relationship with the film studios, and he's personally very close to John Williams, the composer of a lot of these amazing scores. So um, he's really, you know, over the last few years, become the leading conductor for, certainly for a lot of these John Williams movies like you know the uh, the Harry Potter's, the Raiders of the Indiana Jones series. There's the there's Home Alone. There's a whole bunch of them, and he's really the Justin is is leading the leading the uh, you know the charge. Really, he's what a terrible him. job that would be. Oh yeah, can you imagine yeah, how cool? Really. Yeah, I, I I know John Williams. Really admire him, and I I get to play with some of the greatest uh, orchestras in the known universe right now. Yeah, you know you've alluded to this before, Paul that this is not going to be a one and only time. What, what do we have to look forward to, to whatever degree you can tell us? <laughs> well, there are eight movies. I mean, there, anybody who knows the, the Harry Potter um, sequ- series, is, there are seven books, but they, the final book is actually divided up into two movies. So there's eight movies. And over the next few years, probably mostly as a holiday tradition, so you know, wait for an announcement uh, in the spring about what we'll be doing next uh, next December. We might do the second. We may even do the second and the third uh, in one week. We'll see. But uh, over the next few years, we're going to cover all eight movies. Oh, that that is so cool! I'm so excited 
for our night on January 3rd. And boy, can I just tell you too, your musicians yesterday were so accommodating. And as they came in and out, you know, you, the, the tuba player and I, his, his name escapes me right now. You know, he was so kind and uh, so informative when he, when he came out and was chatting with us. And when we talked with Aaron, one of your great uh, clarinet clarinetists, yeah. she was wonderful. We sat after the, uh, the rehearsal, we went way in the back of the hall and we just sat down and talked with her and she gave us a little background of what it was like as a musician to, to play this music, yeah. which, you know, I love the way she said, if anybody thinks this is fluffy stuff, this is hard to play. Oh, I bet. And she, they're absolutely right. And that's why they love these scores. You know, normally orchestras like to be, you know, they're the only thing on stage. They're the center of attention. But with these movies, uh, these scores are so well written. They're so beautifully orchestrated. They're actually quite demanding, uh, challenging for the musicians. They love to play them, and so they, th- this combination of the film and music is perfect for them. Well, Paul, I really appreciate the uh, great association we have with the symphony. What a treasure the Utah Symphony is, and uh, the performances tonight, tomorrow, and on the 3rd. Are, I- I'm so looking forward to our opportunity to see it, and I just appreciate you bringing us into the loop, and not not only making the announcement here on the show, but allowing us uh, yesterday, and we had some friends and colleagues from Channel 5 that were there, too, to kind of see behind the curtain, and it's cool. Very good. Well, thanks thanks to you, Doug, and uh, happy holidays to everyone. Happy holidays to you, and thank you, too, you know, because these musicians are taking time away from their families on Christmas Eve Eve and tomorrow night on Christmas Eve and then on the the 3rd, but, uh, boy, they make our, our holiday season magic. And when we get to the point where we can make any future announcements, boy, you got my number, Paul. We certainly do. Hey, thank you. Thanks again. Merry Christmas to you. Paul Meacham with the Utah Symphony and Opera. And boy, what a... Well, I remember when you announced this, and we were at my hearing centers, and they scattered like cockroaches oh, they to did. their phones. Like, you got to get those tickets now. They did. I mean, Ryan and Matt and everybody, they just yeah. went, boom. You <laughs> know? Like, where did everybody go? And I go, hey, I'm on the air, you know? So I wasn't able to call about D, us? and I said, D, you've got to call. And when she called, it was sold out. Oh, was that quick? Yeah, it was sold out uh, for the the 23rd and the 24th. Well, that'll teach you. And then... Get your and, tickets before you make the announcement. And the, uh, exactly. I, I need to, you know, lock down. The, okay, now, before I announce it, uh, what's that phone number again? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, anyway, what a great part of the uh, holiday tradition. Yeah, and, I can't wait till next year. And as we go into this break, uh, how about this? Mm-hmm. Again, this is just with my little recorder up there in the uh, in the balcony. The scene where they're going into the Great Hall and the wonder in the Dang eyes it. and, oh, man, that's our symphony playing that. That's awesome. So they're going to play the whole movie. Oh, the whole deal. Yeah. This and then is, they, they just come in every once in a while? Well, they, when they, the score, they play, when the score, when, when, when you saw it on the big screen, that's when the Utah Symphony, wow. you know, will be performing. Well, they're going to be there for quite a while. That's pretty cool. Well, you know, as a matter of fact, Justin Freer, you may have missed the interview earlier. He said, at the end of the performance, I've basically sweated off about two or three pounds. Oh, my goodness. There's yeah. a lot of work. A lot of work. And there's no, okay, let's stop and redo that, okay? Yeah, you're, no, this, it's live. You're going. This is the real deal. It is 9.59, the movie show special edition here for this holiday weekend at KSL News Radio.